Lord of mercy, I'm about to bust. What's up, everybody? I need your help. I'm trapped inside a 90s R&B music video. And the only way to let me out is to press the like. Press the like. <laughs> this hurts my eyes. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another video that you can eat to. Okay. I wanted to do something where I take advantage of the sheer amount of content on this website. I feel like YouTube is a is kind of like Google in that you could type anything in and you get a result. For example, ow, Bruh. <laughs> how to turn down the sun when you're making a YouTube video. Like I was saying, the search bar on YouTube is almost like a game. You could put anything in there, a noun, an adjective, and then a noun, and I bet you find something. For example, if I put in man eats man, can we get something? YouTube, show me a man eating a man. That looks like somebody's dentures on the top of his head. That is horrifying. I don't know how much deeper I want to go on this video. I didn't even think we'd really get anything that good. And first of, it's already a cannibal. Um, why don't we try something else? Why don't we try like, I don't know, uh, TikToker does murder, commits murder, something like that. I know I've seen that on TikTok, so that has to be something, right? Search bar, show me a TikToker who's done murder. Was fame on TikTok a motive for a killing? Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> we got one. This TikToker was caught slaying, but the only thing he's serving is jail time. The young man behind the wheel of this car accused of terrorizing his neighbors with the single-minded goal of becoming famous on TikTok. You said I'm an a Yeah. yeah? After the Durham say Latham nearly ran over their son, Dad Timmy Durham confronted Latham in the driveway. Latham allegedly stabbed 52-year-old Timmy Durham to death. Then he called 911. I want to know nothing more about that. Um, but uh, see, see, you can get anything on this website. <laughs> two for two. Didn't come for the story. Just, just wanted to see if I was right. You could even search something like, I don't know, dead wakes up. YouTube, show me the dead waking up. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh, this story really shakes you up. So if you're a parent, burying a child is your absolute worst nightmare. But over in the Philippines, a true miracle happened to a toddler and her family. Man, I hate how this was introduced. I wish they just would have said what the video is captioned. Dead toddler wakes up at funeral. I'm kind of disappointed by that. I really thought they were going to say it. How about how to securely browse the internet with NordVPN, the sponsor of this video. Nice. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I always say, do not browse the internet raw. If you think I'm browsing all this psycho stuff on YouTube without a VPN, you're out of your dang mind. I love NordVPN because it's easy to use. One click and bam, you're protected. NordVPN has over 5,400 servers in 59 different countries. So what that means is there's probably a server near you, which means this is fast and it works on every platform windows ios mac os uh, even android so there's no excuse to be browsing raw also it seems like the world is opening back up a little bit so you might find yourself doing some traveling so you might want to be protected in a you know an airport some kind of coffee shop uh, if you're sitting in a hotel and you're stuck with that janky local tv and your netflix is blocked mm -mm, not with nordvpn you could watch all your favorite tv shows and you might even find some other ones that you didn't know were available on Netflix. Plus, NordVPN encrypts all your traffic so your internet service provider can't slow down your streaming speed. Nice try, bucko. So if you're interested, go to nordvpn.com slash Miller, And if you sign up right now, you get two years plus one month free with a fat discount. It's fat. This deal won't be around forever. So if you want two years plus one month free, go to nordvpn.com slash Miller. Stop browsing raw, okay? And just like that, the sun is back to brighten up the rest of this video. Now look, on this side, we tried a whole lot of searches. I mean a lot. And we got hits for some ridiculous stuff. You know, doctor dances surgery. Doctor mocks patient. Then we started kind of getting a little religious, you know. A priest spends money. Preacher flexes money. Priest leaves closet. And then I think the one that takes the cake out of all of it, pastor becomes stripper. Look at you. Hoping it's your youth pastor. <laughs> you were never reading the Bible. You were just horned up, pretending to be an angel. You knew exactly where you were going. 
hell. This one's fresh. L look at this. A as of today, when I'm f recording this, it's 156,000 views. These days on YouTube, that is, that is, mwah, that is unseen. Who the? <laughs> That's my youth pastor. Hold up. Let him you know he started OnlyFans. That's crazy. I've gone from being a pastor in my local church. Same as there, whispering doubts in our minds. To becoming a successful adult model. <laughs> Listen, man. Listen. I was raised in a very conservative religious environment. This messaging was when you become a wife and a mother, you've reached the pinnacle of womanhood. Look, all I'm saying is if you're going to push anything out of your... You should get paid to do it. You know what I mean? It shouldn't be free. You know, push a whole organism out of there. You should definitely get paid for that. That's why no one wants babies anymore because they're annoying and you got to pay for them. They're, they're a liability to you. You could put objects far less difficult in your body and make way more money. You know what I mean? When I was a pastor, I still was ascribing to the belief that I am responsible for how men view me. I would spend so much time over my outfit. Like, don't wear too tight of jeans. She got tired of dressing like she was gonna ride horses for the rest of her life. And she just she just went the other way with it. Got tired of wearing closed toed shoes with 700 thread cotton woven socks, Target employee pants and fur sweaters in the summer. She went the other way. She was like, I, I need a job where I can be naked. Cause this right here, this is not it. Look at this, I don't blame her. Those jeans, I know those jeans are uncomfortable. Like if I was in the movie Saw, they wouldn't have to cut my eyelids open or any of that. It would just be me and a pair of 5'11s on the other side. They'd be like, you want to play a game? Put those on. I'd be like, no, no, please don't make me. And then, you know, ask me to dance or some Slush. shit in some 5'11s in 90 <laughs> degrees. That's my nightmare. Even though this church was the most open-minded and progressive church I've ever been part of. What is up with the cameraman on these shows? Like these shows that go, you know, straight to YouTube, they always just on the feet. Let's get a quick zoom on the, hold on, getting a close up on her big toe. So we got a different cameraman. He's exactly what she's talking about. He's got a camera zooming in on her feet and he's got Isaiah 316 in his bio. <laughs> there was this pressure to fit within the mold and as a queer woman in a very straight male dominant church I was afraid that I was too much and I would get in trouble and eventually got to the point where I couldn't hide it and I decided to come out publicly <sighs> so listen when we search pastor becomes stripper I didn't think that meant deceivingly complex video related to several modern social issues that's not what I was expecting I, I thought it was just gonna be you know like yeah I used to be a pastor and uh, that doesn't make money. And I realized, you know, <laughs> I was kind of popping at church. <laughs> hey! Hello. Hey, come in. in. Come Thank in. You. If I was still a pastor, what I do now would be unacceptable. Says who, though? I mean, maybe the church, but you're paving the way right now. I bet there's a whole array of pastors who know they're kind of bad and if it came down to it every time i see kenneth copeland driving away to his private plane they look at that and go bro you don't even, you don't even know i could juice this peach back here and i'll just be good standing on stage in the spotlight thousands of eyes on you is like a dream come true for me Oh, you guys are a rowdy bunch in here. I love it. There we go. I mean, that has to be a struggle, being a pastor and knowing you're bad. Because, you know, you're you're up there. You're trying to talk the word of God, but, you know, the the audience, they're just trying to keep it together. They're just trying to focus on what you're saying. <laughs> Got people kneeling a little too long during the service. It's like, all right, man, you can sit back down. And they're sitting there like, no, I found God in you. <laughs> and the more I did it, the more I wanted of that. When I started my OnlyFans, I remember being really nervous about how my- Stop. Stop. Get your hands off the keys. Stop right now. Stop it. Focus. Man, focus. She's not preaching there. Focus. Okay? Before I posted, I wrote a social media post on all my social media accounts saying, I decided to do this thing, and here's why. I'm preparing you, so when you start seeing more sexy photos, this is why. 
unfriend or unfollow me now if this is not something you want in your life. You know at least one couple got in an argument after she posted that. Buddy arguing with his wife. Well, I don't I don't see the reason why we can't be supportive. We don't have to unfriend her. We can just uh, unsubscribe to her posts. Still remain friends. That way we're just a little bit in, in between. I think that would make us a little bit uh, unaccepting if we were just to uh, cut her out. I've gone from being a pastor in my local church to becoming a successful adult model. Now I make between 30000 to 100000 a month. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> Lord of mercy, I'm about to bust. <laughs> what? Every pastor watching this video be like, you said, how much now? Thir to 100. Fuck this damn book. <clears throat> Starting today, I'm pulling my penis out. You know, the biggest loser in all this is Judas. See over here making $100,000 a month and he sold out Jesus for lunch money. <laughs> Sucker, man. Oh, she's drinking wine now. <laughs> she's drinking wine now. She makes enough money to buy bottles from the Vatican direct. She's like, yeah, I started my OnlyFans and uh, now, you know, I have the actual blood of Jesus sent to my home. Yeah, regularly. So I grew up in a really religious family. It was conservative. <laughs> And now I'm on OnlyFans and uh, I make $100,000 a month to take pictures of my penis. I know that, that there's this sensational story about Nicole as pastor turned stripper. But when you meet her and you start talking to her, you just see this amazing person that's underneath all of that. Hey, hey, listen, man. No one on this side of the internet is saying you can't be an amazing person and, and a dancer or a sex worker or whatever. I mean, that's being a good person has nothing to do with what job you do. I mean, look at all the people with noble jobs in our uh, society. They're all pieces of slush. If you could go back in time and make different decisions, would you do that? <sighs> Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Is this even really a question? I mean, come on. Stand up in front of thousands of people and set a crinkly ass Levi's hot as hell in a turtleneck. For free, we're making those big bags. If I could do something differently, I would have done this years ago. That's right. That's right. That's right. When was when was OnlyFans created, man? Let's look that up. 2016, man. That was years of revenue that she lost out on. Years. Good for her, man. So much has changed, and yet, like, deep in me, you know, the voice is like, this is just the beginning. Like, there's so much more coming my way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a whole lot more coming your way. Uh, this is called money. Look, man, this was a, this is, this is a bit of a ride, you know? We started with the sun up and now it's down i just i just wanted to give this one a shot you know i thought it'd be funny to just kind of take a few terms throw them in the box see what we get back if you like this video let me know uh and if not that's okay and if you're neutral on it that's all right too either way i'll see you next week with something else all right bye hey she's playing i had to switch it up yeah, might lose a few, ask me if I give a fuck yeah.